When are when do we explain what we're doing? Oh, <laughs> welcome to our garden. We're putting up um, a fenced area for the chickens so that the dog can be separate and um, you know the chickens don't destroy our whole yard. And we can move it around. They still have plenty of they'll have plenty of room to roam. Don't worry. April, you should talk extra loud because once again, we're, we're not using mics. Why? Because we're filming on the fly and you don't want to get uh, wires mixed up in your construction in your or, your, or your chicken wire. Uh, so sorry, but you know, I'll try to adjust the volume levels when I edit it. And try not to talk while you're crinkling plastic. That too. What have we got? So this is some very cheap grip right poultry, poultry netting. netting. Here, Lauren, you grab uh, that we're not end. trying to keep pests out, so it's two inch netting and it's not hardware cloth. And we're just doing this on the cheap. Right, April? That's right, Lauren. Have a great view of the top of your head. Your part is not very straight. Oh, oh sorry. That. I do my own hair. What do you expect? Wait, don't we don't have comb. makeup artists <laughs> for our gardening channel. Okay. You're you you're way? struggling a little. Oh, it would help if I had scissors. I gave you that great needle nose pliers. Yeah, That's the tool still, for the job. That actually did the trick. I think it's tied closed with the same color wire as... Yeah, that's about right. Let's, I see it here. You have to have good eyes. For, no, that's just... That's no, just this line right... That's it? Don't you think this line down here has something to do with it? No. I think this one does. Yeah. Here, this wrapping yeah. around. Oh, boy. We have to take the camera off for a second. Okay, we got, we got the wire. It was Lauren. Good job, Lauren. I feel like maybe sometimes we act like Lauren doesn't do anything useful. She I does. Film. Yeah, anyone can do that. No, not I'm, not I'm just kidding. <laughs> this really is a high true. quality endeavor. Quality I never forget where your face is and start filming your elbow okay, or that's a lie. Uh, the top of your head or just something out of frame. Is that it? Did we just get tangled? I think we just got tangled. We're... I feel like we should be wearing we gloves go. or should have up-to-date tetanus yeah. shops. Well, I we do. have one of those. I have an up-to-date tetanus shop. So do I. How many years? It's only... I got it like last year. Did they do tetanus and pertussis at like the same time or are those different? T-dap... Tetanus... Is this one of those diphtheria? I think so. Pneumonia? No. Tetanus, diphtheria, and what's the P? Pertussis. Oh, is it pertussis? pertussis? Well, that's what I'm wondering. Tetanus. It just seems funny to do it at the same time because tetanus and pertussis are such what's different diseases. What's the other diseases. one? Tdap and M. There's a one with M. Mumps, rubella, rubella MR, and, and the other is it two R. One? MMR. MR. M. Is it MMR? Mumps, Mumps measles, measles, and, and rubella. rubella. Yeah. We know our... Anyway, we've had them all. Come to Lauren and April's garden for your medical... <laughs> okay, uh, I think April needs a second pair of hands with this, so we'll check give us a in. sec. Hey April, what are we doing? I really wish we had one of those things. Yeah. I think Dad has one. We should ask we should him to bring it over. Oh, you think he 
along with some zip ties and Agnes. I'm gonna call. Time to call Pa! Look, it's not because we're women and we can't do it ourselves. It's just that we need some gear. And April, why does my leg look like this? <laughs> because um, we tested the sprinkler system to make sure we you don't have reached the voicemail number. to make sure we don't hit any pipes. So Pa didn't answer. <laughs> Time to call Ma. This is great video, April. Yeah, really thrilling stuff, right? I hope everyone's enjoying. I'm gonna give a preview of our chickens. Sure, yeah, show. Hello, Ma? Hi, is, is Pa there? Thank you. Hey, um, you have one of those stake hammering things, right? A post driver. A post driver? No, I don't. Oh, you don't. Dang it. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's green. Okay, thanks, Pa. Bye. Love you. Goodbye. Okay. Well, that was not as helpful as I thought it would be. It sounds like Pa is never coming over here again. So he's not going to bring anything. So, uh, but I'm going to get out the ladder. Is this, that safe? Yes, I've done it before. With Pa. Lauren, just trust me. I don't know why. There we go. Okay. Turn it the other way yeah. so that... Yikes. I just want to tell you, we're not trying to do America's Home Video. Okay, that's that's actually working. Yeah, it's working great. Oops. How far does it need to be in, Lauren? Is just that good? another half inch. Okay. Good. One more. Just need the metal things below. Okay, good. Great. Okay. Next. So that was one. We're gonna put some more down. We'll check back in with you once we've got the stakes in. Next steps. We're filming, yeah. <laughs> so um, we're starting over here. We're in... <laughs> yep. I can't be on this side. <laughs> I'm... Listen, I'm just the, the filmographer. I'm key grip number seven. I'm associate okay. key grip. Ah! So what I'm doing now is pulling the wire. I thought you said the posts were longer than the wire. Yeah, they are. Uh, no, they're not. Well, squish it together. How's it's it going, going? It's going great. So anyways, get your vaccinations before you engage in work like this with pokey wires and earth. Yeah. Because lockjaw. Lauren stepped on numerous rusty nails in her life, so, you know. All I can say is go, don't go walking down in a ravine where people throw trash in your rubber boots and then let your rubber boots fill with water and then decide that it would be better to walk up barefoot than to walk up in wet boots because, you know, more likely than not, you will... Hey, Lauren, telling a great story about you. So this is one inch chicken wire. Hey, what we've got over here is two inch chicken wire. So it's a lot bigger, as you can see. Okay. Okay. So are we using that wire from before to attach this in some way? Yeah, we probably don't want just bent wires hanging out. For now, just wrap it around like that, that, and then we'll measure it out. Yeah. 
We should have put this on like a broomstick. Yeah, that would have been smart. Are you going to take a turn, Lauren? Oh, we should probably move the ladder out of there before we block this off. Lauren, do you think this will keep the chickens out or are they going to jump over and hang out by our back door like they currently do? That's part of why we're doing this. These chickens love us so much they come up and uh, poop on the back steps all day. They also peck the window while it rains. Yeah, it's filthy. So anyway, no more photobombing Lauren at work, chickens. We measured this to make sure that the um, wheelbarrow still fits in the opening so that we can clean out the coop with it. Looking good, Lauren. Thank you. Do you want me to just do that so that it... I kind of want to stretch it once we have it. Okay. Well, just for now so that it's not falling over. Yeah. Looks good. Anything else to say, Lauren? Oh, repurposing this wire that it was secured with to yeah. attach it? So, nice. So what I'm doing is making sure that I'm doing the same row of loops so that um, so that it will be the same yeah. length all the way down. Yeah. Very smart, Lauren. It's a good use of uh, mathematics in the real world, kids. <laughs> Keep studying. Here's a peek inside. This is where we keep the chicken feed now, in the office. Here's a word problem. Oh, a word problem, huh? If, if every chicken eats three-fourths of a cup of food every day, and I have ten chickens, how much food do I need to feed them every day? Ten times three-quarters, Lauren? Yeah. I don't even know that. How many cups? Wait. Ten times... Three. Ask your parent. Is 30. And 10 times 4 is 40. Ask your parent <laughs> if you can uh, put a comment. That How many times answer. does 30 go into... Wait. You know what? It's been a while. Because April needs your help. Yeah, please comment below. I couldn't figure it out in, you know, 10 seconds, so... Do better than me. How's it going, Lauren? Good. Need any assistance? Yeah, I was thinking hands. that. I don't want it to poke anybody. Okay, well, we'll check back. Bye. Bye for now. Bye-bye. Right. What's up, Lauren? April. Yes. Tell us about the farm we live on. We live on a farm now because we put up some fencing. <laughs> it's the old homestead. So here's our janky fence. Did we make sure it was straight? No. Did we but make how sure would it was we stretched if, flat? If no. Okay. But we don't care. But if we had wanted it straight, we we oh we would have taken a rope. You, yeah. If you want it straight, just um, you know, from one point to another, just put a stake on each of them, stretch a rope across like a string, and then use that as your line. It's very easy. What did we do for the health of our chickens? Oh, we made sure that there weren't any little bits of wire left on the ground. And we also, very important, sort of pointed the ends of the wires away. Happy chickens. We yep. should move that cord up under the roof. How do we get in? By that gate? By our front yard? That's one way. So that's one point of entry is to go out the front of the house and come around the side. But we also have this um, just perfect wonderfully installed gate opening here. We might change this later. One thing we could do is um, to just staple the end of the chicken wire along the edge of the coop and make this side a gate instead that would open from here. Um, just because the coverage here isn't great and they can probably get out. That's why we put that there, but we'll figure it out. So thanks for watching. And um, leave a like if you think our fence is really janky. And um, comment below everything you would have done better. And subscribe if, if you feel like it. Thanks for watching. Bye.